is one of the greatest deterrents when it comes to chicken feeding is the chicken cost. So far, this has costed me around 30,000 or even more to raise these chicks to this almost three months old. Some of these are three months old and it has been a journey for me. So today, I just want to reduce my cost of feed by 50% or how I've been reducing the cost of feed and I'll be showing you. So instead of buying this kind of feed here and this one is that 500 Kenya shillings which is a 50 kg bag, you can decide to formulate your own feeds and even get the feeds at a cheaper price than the ones being sold by the commercial feeds. And it will be much cheaper if you make your own feeds. So long as you know the formula of how to formulate those feeds, it will be efficient, retaining that nutrient value that is required, the protein, the energy, and also the fiber content at the required levels. So as you can see, we have two bags here. This is a 70 kg bag that is on the left side. And this is a 50 kg bag that is on the right side. But these 70 kg bags cost around 2,700 Kenya shillings. 27 dollars. And this other one costs 35 dollars. It's a 50 kg bag. So, and the nutrient value are almost the same. It's a bit of adjustment here and there, and you'll get a very nice which I'm going to share with you today so that stay tuned even as I show you how we got this formula so in less than two months my chicks have grown from this stage as you can see these are one or they were one month old uh, to this level and as I can show you it is just getting the right formula and here is how so you will need maize jam and the amount for a 7 kg bag you will need 20 kilos of maize jam 41 kenya shillings total 820 crude protein 10% you will need sunflower uh, 5 kilos and uh, as 51 kenya shillings the total is 255, that is 29%. These are ingredients you need separately. Then you will need sorghum, 7 kilos, 36 kenya shillings, total is 252. The crude protein is 10.5%, almost like maize. And then you will need canola. You will need some 3 kilos of canola and 78 kenya shillings. That will be 234 in total. The crude potent for this is 23%. We'll be looking at what this each of these has in terms of the nutrition value. Then we'll also have soya, which is very good. Uh, you need some two kilos. The price is at 104 per kilo. The total is 208. And the crude protein is 48%. Very okay. And then you need some. Poland wheat, uh, Poland wheat, and which is at seven kilos at 31 kilo shillings, total is 217. You will need some broken wheat, four kilos, and 40 kilo shillings, the total is 160. Uh, we have another ingredient called ochonga, which is some um, fish waste or fish, yes, some seafood which contains high, very high protein of 54%. Yes, but ensure you get the right feed. This one is where some people go wrong. So this one you'll find at 51 Kenya shillings or that Goro Goro or something. Yeah, there's a bucket, small bucket that is being sold at 90 Kenya shillings. And this one, 54% you need, you 54% crude protein. So we also have cotton milled, milled cotton. You need some four kilos, uh, 51 Kenya shillings. 
this will be 204 you need some lime two kilos of lime at can can shell in six per kilo so 12 12 then you will need depending on whether it's layers or uh whether it's chicks the chick starts the chicks or any other you will need for growers in my case i'll need 0 0.25 kilos of that per kilo is because at 300 so this one will become 75 kilo shillings you need rice jam 10 kilos and uh, this one goes at 10 shillings so that will be 100 you need an ingredient called copra and uh, for copra you you will buy at 3 kilo shillings that will be 66 so in totality this one will give you 70 kilos when rounded off and uh, the price for this in total will be 27.56 so if you'll be buying or formulating for 50 kg bag you'll find that this one you will buy at less than 2000 kg shillings which is by this alone it's saving 49 percent by this alone buying these feeds and mixing for yourself you'll be saving 50 percent of the feed so we'll be looking further how to reduce this feed cost So we want to reduce the cost of feed even further from 50%. Then the secret we can use is using Azola. So Azola is very advantageous and the cost of production per kg is even like 5 kg shillings. So how do we do this? Replace the protein sources that you have in Azola and since it has a crude protein of 27%, you can replace the protein sources such as soybean, you can replace the sunflower, you can replace cotton seed, canola, and even ochonga if you cannot get the good source of ochonga. But still, ochonga is very cheap. But then, uh, if you calculate this, the cost of feed will reduce even to from that 2000 for a 50 kg bag to even. 1500 kg shillings because you will have replaced most of the sources of protein and since you need to maintain that protein the protein content you need to maintain is around 17 17 percent that is the crude protein so 16 to 18 percent so ensuring that you balance very well and maybe in the next videos we'll be sharing with you how we have been able to balance because now we are expanding our pond for Azola so that we can have enough Azola to do this replacement. So basically, we will ensure that we have reduced the feed cost for feed from 100% to 30%. This one is a target we must achieve. Now, these are the ponds that we are expanding. As I told you, we are creating more and more ponds. And also the other thing that you can do is you grow Moringa. So you can further blend this Moringa leaves in their water. And this will boost their immunity and also give them supply, some uh, vitamins. And also is uh, this Moringa is a natural growth booster. Thank you very much for watching to this far. Uh, I hope you learned something and also uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, remember to subscribe and follow our other videos for more updates to come.